the entire uh, right wing decided at once that they were going to talk about how disgusting Kristen Stewart's cover on Rolling Stone was where, you know, she is dressed where you can see her stomach and she has a jock strap on and is kind of playing with gender. She's a queer woman and she well, she's is, showing too much leg too where her ankles appearing in the photo shoot. I don't you were I don't I, honestly I'm going to I I would look uh bender but I my eyes are too precious. I would not want to see such a thing. Um right. So she responded to this on Stephen Colbert, and I, I'm, I, I just think she's really cool and smart and interesting. And uh, this is what she said about kind of the right wing backlash to her cover. I've seen like a lot of hands in pants and like unbuttoned. I think there's a certain overt uh, acknowledgement of like a female sexuality that is, you know, has its own volition in a way that is annoying for people who are. Uh, sexist and homophobic. <laughs> well, I would also say that I've seen. <laughs> I've certainly, I've certainly seen more revealing covers on Rolling Stone or Sports Illustrated, it's for that matter. Remotely I think, explicit. No, yeah, I think that it also I mean, sort of violates like public expectations of female sexuality, as opposed to how you're presenting it here. Yes, because female sexuality isn't supposed to actually want anything but to be had. Right. And that feels like it's protruding yep. in a way that might be annoying. But f- you. <laughs> I've seen like a. So that's just such a great ex- explanation of it. A really succinct, thoughtful explanation of this backlash and why the right is fixated on female sexuality, but this, but specific forms of it. One, ones that express and show a woman's desire would mean that like perhaps you as a man are undesirable and also she is married to a woman i mean i i'm not sure what her sexuality is she may be pan she dated a man in the past whatever but but she's married to a woman at this point so it's doubly that this is not even for you on the cover of rolling stone both this is both an expression of of or an artistic expression of female desire that is at the forefront and also an expression of sexuality that may not be geared towards men. And the fact that that is so threatening to the right is just astonishing to me. So I just really loved her reaction to that as well. I yeah, feel no, threatened I, by everything that uh, you, Emma, and I just said. Stewart just said. So yeah. I have nothing left to say. I, I'm, I'm, I will now cower in fear. You're cocked. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Brandon. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's good for her, right? Uh, You know, I didn't even realize when they were complaining in the beginning that this was part of like a movie promotional shoot where she plays like, because the way you would imagine based on what you would imagine based on how they were complaining was that this was like a fetish magazine that she was on the front of. Like this was some kind of like, you know, a photo shoot, like launching some, uh, queer like lingerie line that she was promoting not like a movie where this is kind of like you know basically part of the plot like it'd be a complaining about like robert pattinson appearing in a batman a batman costume on the front of like gq magazine to promote batman yeah uh, but it really does show go to show just i think like the elliot page scenario uh did how much of right-wing sexuality is about controlling women in like a holistic sense their right to expression their right to sexuality and very little to do even with their sort of professed sexual attraction to them in any real way. Like, you know, the Sydney Sweeney thing was easy to forget, but like these are the same people who traded an AI that clothes women. You know, this is the same group of people that is trying to both prevent women from divorcing their husbands if they're pregnant in certain states and re- removing no their right to divorce. abortion. Stephen Crowder no is very divorce. against that. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are very against it. Like, this is a Can't imagine why. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I, women just shouldn't be allowed to make decisions is the obvious choice here. But, like, no, like, I, I it's just like they act like they're, it's, when a situation like this is happening, it's happening to them. Like, a woman deciding that she, you know, wants to dress in a certain way that they don't find attractive or in a way they do find attractive, but they didn't get permission for her to dress that way or to a woman or man becoming trans is, like, taking away their access to a woman's body that they were, you know, previously allowed to have in their own minds. Entitled to it, yeah. 
Right. Entitled to it. Like, you know, I don't remember the last time I heard like a Republican or right winger talking about Kirsten, uh, Kristen Stewart as some sort of like sex, the sex object or like, you know, uh, some sort of like a uh, bombshell actress. So like, it's not as though they, they all had like these pre-existing crushes on her and suddenly she just disappointed all of them by coming out as a lesbian, which would still be her right. They just heard that she was queer and decided that like, this is some kind of an affront to them. Because in the end, there's so much narcissism embedded in patriarchy and in that kind of like control of sexual expression, which is that if the, the, a woman expressing her desire and her sexuality is threatening to me as the man, because that might mean that she may not desire me and that this could be a reciprocal relationship as opposed to one of domination and of control and one where she essentially kind of capitulates to my desire. So it really is uh, as old as time, the misogyny here. And I, I just... I, um, I'm sorry that it, it triggered the right in Tim Pool and such. Uh, you're so, you're much, so but... right. This is a, like a type of like psychological like rejection. Like, yes. she's like she's pre-rejecting them by not being into them. This, we're getting really like Freudo Marxist today on the Majority Report, <laughs> which which I love. But like yeah, like this is this is all like psychosexual. Like by putting a jock strap on, she has pre-rejected Tim Pool. That's your new uh, Twitter uh, handle, uh, uh, bend, or not handle, uh, name. It's going to be Freudo Marxist. I'm call- that's that's my <laughs> that's my latest suggestion. It's also just like it's all, like as you, as she said with it that they they only comfort with behind the sexuality um, of women for like you know right wing men is for it to be had by them to like be observed or spectated by them is like not only subverted by her but it's also like if they ever want to push the envelope like if they ever want to like reveal their fantasies like that nebraska state legislator did yesterday when he inserted his female colleagues name into a a a section of a book that outlined a rape scene like when they do something like that or they push the envelope or they sub or are they're subversive whether or not they're actually thinking they're subverting the subversion by saying stuff like that their response that's basically like hey lighten up sweetheart yes like like i'm 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 working here. Like it's okay for me to do this, actually. But Kristen Stewart wants to wants to be on a magazine stand on one of the most like iconic, successful magazines of all time, wearing essentially what would constitute as underwear if you didn't know what a jockstrap was, right. and that's somehow beyond the pale and and a sign of like the decline of of you know of, of, of women's sexuality in America. <laughs> but, See, that's the, that's the difference. Like when Stephen Crowder dresses up like a woman on louder with Crowder he's doing it to like make fun of women like he's yep. doing it to like make fun of women to make fun of trans people like when you know Kirsten Stewart wears a and drop- a little wish fulfillment too maybe well you know we're, we're trying to move away from the Fordham Marxism I'm sorry <laughs> but, sorry you know, <laughs> But when Kristen Stewart does it, she's doing it to express her own sexuality. She's yes. doing it to like express or signal to other women or non-binary or whatever who that she feels uh, aligned with them. She's not doing it to make fun of men. You know, she's not doing it inherently to like. Maybe she's doing it to make fun of gender and gender norms, but that's not the same thing. And you know, they just can't interpret it that way. You know, the Crowder types they can't interpret it as anything other than an affront against them, either due to like restricting access to their bodies by making them less attractive, or trying to like co-op masculinity in some way that like is you know mocking it or whatever. But yeah, no, that's obviously not the case. That's just insecurity. Both both interpretations are a result of insecurity. Well said. All right, get the hell out of here, Brandon. Sorry for keeping you, you long. No, uh, no, sorry for only jumping in for a moment, but you know. It good is luck at the is. doctor. I hope they fix your brain. Um, <laughs> they make sure for that. <laughs> Bye. They're, they're, Bye. They're, just, they're just attempting to extract the woke mind virus from, uh, right. from Brandon. Right. A bioweapon. A bioweapon. <laughs> they're just trying to extract use. the bioweapon. Hey, as we head towards the 2024 election, both parties are going to attempt to control the media narrative. So it's vital to know what you're reading and where it's coming from, which is why our sponsor, Ground News, is going to be absolutely crucial. Their website and app gathers related articles from around the world in one place with context about each source, like whether they have a political bias, how reliable they are, who owns them, etc. Go to ground.news slash majority to check them out. One of my favorite features, it's the blind spot feed, which shows you stories that are disproportionately covered by one side of the political spectrum. So when your neighbor tells you that one third of Americans think Biden's election was illegitimate, you're going to know he's talking about a poll taken back in December 
that was mostly covered by right-leaning news sources. And then all of a sudden, you guys have common ground to base your conversation in. You can actually engage with the facts, like for instance, who conducted the poll? What was the sample size? If you sign up using my link, ground.news slash majority, you're gonna get 40% off the Vantage plan, which includes unlimited access to the blind spot feed. It's a really good service with an important mission, so I hope you're gonna check it out.